What? Can we, oh, there's some horse. Can we woo? <gasps> we can woo who in the horse boot? <laughs> what? That is literally the most demented thing. Look at it. <laughs> Are you ready to die? Oh, this is so exciting. Hey guys, welcome back to the Sims 4 Life and Death Let's Play series. In our last episode, we completed the tarot card deck and it was very underwhelming. Today, we're starting off by sending Shanice to bed because she's chronically tired. We also need to get uh, Bonehilda back to look after our child for us because I can't be bothered to deal with it. But okay, we've got this beautiful big lot that we've got right here. Okay, do you know what I personally think would be amazing? If we got a horse, that's right, we started this Let's Play play series with feisty flange our beautiful horse with that being said Shanice's caravan I love you I'm sorry but you gotta go we're making room for the horse we don't need you anymore we've used you I haven't done oh my god do you know what we can do this is such a throwback to our horse ranch series oh my god I love it we can put our little thingy here okay in the horse ranch part of our let's play series we did actually unlock all of these signs but we because we had to start a new save file because our last one glitched. We can't have them anymore. Okay, we're gonna have to use this one instead. That's such a shame. Genuinely forgot like how horse ranch works. Do we need to build, oh fuck's sake, do we need to build a stable and everything? It's all a little bit dramatic, isn't it really? Anyway, it looks like the build mode lag glitch is back. That's beautiful, isn't it? I'm praying this is functional. We move this back, it should be. And then we'll give you some water and we'll give you the hay feed somewhere around here. There we go. We'll give you a ball so that you can stim. I really can't be bothered to look after a horse. I just want one in the household. Do you know what I mean? Today's video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. On Instant Gaming, you can get incredible deals on many different video games, including Sims 4 packs. As of recording this video, the Sims 4 Life and Death is 28% off. One of the rare few Sims 4 packs I actually recommend getting because it's quite fun. But as I said, you can get many different video games on Instant Gaming, which is, oh my God, you can get Tinder. <laughs> maybe I need this, then maybe I'll find a boyfriend. Not just video games, but if you play other games, like you guys know I love playing Valorant, you can actually get points, you can get Robux, you can get a lot of things you didn't think you'd be able to get on Instant Gaming. So check out my affiliate link in the description of this video. There you will find amazing deals on video games and you help to support me and my channel too. Was there not a unicorn horn, like a fake unicorn horn that you could put on them? That's a shame. Well, we've got some like a body art for our unicorn, which is cute. Did it EA remove the unicorn horn from the game or did they just remove it from mine because they hate me? Anyway, your name is Rhinoceros Rectum. Uh, why do I why do I need to add like an adult sim to the house? Excuse me, I just want to add this horse to my game. Okay, what if I save it? Can I now bring it in the household from my gallery? Do you know what I mean? We can. Oh my God, Rhinoceros Rectum, hello there. Who's got the high horse riding skill? Shanice is level three. Shanta is level 10 or it's your job Chantel. I would actually share this one on the gallery but I'm 100% certain that it will be disallowed. We we'll calm it down because it's scared and freaking out. Let's go for a relaxed ride to ease you into your new horrid life. <laughs> Isn't this really cute living in the countryside? We're riding a little horsey. What more do you want? Anyway, Shanice, Shanice, what are you doing? Oh, Bone Hilda's here. Hello there. Shanice needs to die. So with that being said, should we observe the sky? Because what I'd like to do is turn Shanice, Shanice into a ghost so that we can do the ghostly part of our Let's Play series because we haven't actually been a ghost yet. And I feel like we need to get it done. Shanice's sleep need is chronically low and I can't deal with this right now. How much longer till we can afford never need to sleep? potion. Oh, we don't need, we only need 200 more satisfaction points. Right, Shanice, you need to win three duels against a spellcaster. Oh, she doesn't have the magic round portal in her inventory. Okay. We just need to do this as a prerequisite before we become a ghost. I feel like ghosts don't need sleep. Like it's a bit ridiculous for a ghost to need sleep. Do you know what I mean? So if we just travel to the magic realm and then we can get the trait that means we never need to sleep. And this is just going to be so OP for pretty much the rest of the Let's Play series. We just need to win three spellcaster jewels. I wish you could like have somewhere to sleep in this. I fucking hate this magic school. I'm telling you now. Okay, we are going to be changing this lot to one off the gallery because I absolutely hate it. Oh, this looks really cute. Please don't break my game. Please don't let us freeze. Oh no, we're freezing. Oh no, look, I love this. Okay, and there are beds in here so we can fall asleep. Right, lovely. This is genuinely what I wanted from Ram with Magic. I wish it came with like a proper magic school that you can live in, like Hogwarts. Wouldn't have that just been like top class, like a board 
boarding school. Sims 4 could never. Okay, do we have somewhere in here where we can eat as well? Oh, look, this is like, a, like it kind of looks like a teacher in a class. Like, it's so cute. Oh, see, like, guys, you need to start downloading stuff off the gallery. Like, don't be too proud to, like, make it yourself. Like, you can instantly just have all this stuff for free and, like, you haven't done anything for it. Um, what are you doing? Oh, my God, what are these people doing in here? <laughs> What are you doing? Oh no, these poor randomly generated townies stuck in the bush. Are you all dogging in there? I think you are. We need to just invite a random spellcaster to a duel. Prepare to die for we are dueling you to a battle. Should we offer her a tarot card reading first? First, we're gonna use her. And we're gonna get 60 simoleons out of her. Although she's, oh, she fucked off. She disappeared. Right, Daryl Charm, unnerving stare at you. Everyone's, oh God, everyone in this lot's glitching a little bit. He looks, oh no, he looks scared. Oh no. I feel bad now. We can't introduce ourselves to him. He's glitched. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it because of this lot that I've I've built? Please, I just need to introduce myself to someone so that we can do a like a magic trick to get not a magic trick. You know what I mean? Challenge to a duel at the dueling grounds. Challenge to a friendly duel. Let's go. I don't even think we have a magic wand in our inventory. Gosh, we don't. We're not very prepared, are we? Right, is she gonna follow me? She's followed me, but I think we've glitched. Nope, we're doing it. Okay, who's gonna win? I'm hoping it's me. I'm not sure what's gonna Oh, did we win? <gasps> We won. We need to challenge more people, but nobody's here. I think they're all stuck in the fucking bush. All right, we're gonna have to leave and come back, aren't we? What a nightmare. We have played The Sims 4 for five hours. We just got an achievement for it. I'm pretty sure we played longer than that, but okay. Right, nobody's stuck in the bush anymore. Oh no, these people are still in the bush. I feel like people are spawning in the bush here. Why are people spawning in the bush? No, guys, what are these people doing? Should we introduce ourselves? Should we see if we can actually like bring him over? No, it's glitched. They're glitched. Oh no. <laughs> It's fine, we just have to make do with some other random townies. Maybe that is one of the downsides of stealing different kind of lots off the gallery. I kind of want to offer a tarot card reading to people because we've got our proper deck now and we can literally get like proper simoleons from it. Although in course, of course in proper Sims fashion, she's not doing it, we're glitching. Why can't, like why do they have to fucking glitch? Like honestly, I don't want my Sims, I told you guys in the last episode, I don't want my Sims to multitask. I'm sick of it. Let's challenge you to a friendly duel, see if that will work. Work. Is it gonna work? Nope, it didn't work. Oh, for fuck's sake. Shanice, right, stand up. Let's stand up first. Right, this random lady. Let's see if we can challenge you to a duel. We we'll try and reset the social conversation. Should we offer you, I wanna offer you a tarot card reading. I'm literally fucking trying. Okay, I think it worked, but we, okay. I, I, well, that was underwhelming, wasn't it? Let's challenge you to another friendly duel. Please don't glitch. Okay, this one didn't glitch. Although, okay, it did glitch. Lovely. I did tell you guys before in this Let's Play series. Okay, we do use cheats if it's to get over a glitch. We did attempt to bring like two sims to a duel and it didn't work and we have two left. So I am cheating our current milestone. We are also, oh my God, four levels up on the bucket list. What do all these mean? Level one, extra satisfaction point gain. Level two, skill gain. Level three, share souls journey interaction and extra discounts and career performance. Number four, no regrets. She gains the interaction to move to the great beyond, meaning that she leaves the sim for permanently if she dies, which we don't really want to do. But okay, we got enough satisfaction points now so that we can get the never wary. So she never ever needs to sleep again. This is incredible. Though ironically, our sleep need is very low. This is a genuine game changer. So if we make you sleep now, I believe you'll never ever need to sleep ever again. Chant out, chant out. We still need to get you to the top of your job too. I haven't forgot that. We need to practice our charisma skill, bring that one to level five, and then we'll be able to level up in our job again, which is cool. We're very close to being at the top level. Tax credit, Shanice, our baby's stinky. Poor little kid. I'm sorry we're neglecting you. Not really. I'm more excited that we've got a horse. It's, oh my God, look, it's just so cute. I love it. It's so cute. Look at it hopping around. Oh my God, it's prancing. I love you. You're so cute. Now, all we need is an ever need to eat potion and we're completely sussed. So with all due respect, Shanice, it's time to kill you off. If we look in the telescope like millions of times, eventually a meteor's going to come down. Oh my god, look at our little picture here. The only annoying thing about this portrait, oh my god, we can use swimwear outfit. That's cute. Oh no, look at that. Oh my god, that's adorable. What else can we use? Party outfits. Oh my god, this is really cute. I wish you could change the background of this brand new frame because it's so crap the way it's on a plain white background. I can't believe they didn't think that through. Anyway, she needs to be really need to find a meteor, please, because I need to kill you off with it. This bitch is back. She's come for another jewel. Oh no, she, she's gone now. <laughs> 
<laughs> I caught her. She's running away. Uh oh, Shanice just knows a meteor headed right for her. She should seek shelter quickly. I disagree. We do not need any shelter whatsoever. You keep moon gazing, Shanice. Isn't this so beautiful? Oh my God, look at you, Shanice. Are you ready to die? Oh, this is so exciting. Congratulations, Shanice. You're a ghost. This is an ex Grim Reaper. We've had about three of them spawn over the course of this Let's Play. Okay, become a playable ghost. Right, Shanice, let's pick up your urn. This is Shanice's second urn because she fucking died twice. Of course she did. Oh my God, we've got two cow plant berries in our inventory. Oh my God, Shanice, I'm not being funny. You need to plant these right now. I'm also actually going to plant loads of death flowers. What's that? Oh, this is a macaroni cheese, not a death flower. All right, there is a little bit of move objects on glitching going on here. There's stinky plates on the floor. I'm not sure what's going on. Can you plant the death flower now, Shanice? Okay, there we go. Cow plant berry failed to germinate. Excuse me, there's plenty of room here. Maybe we'll have to put the cow plant berry outside. Maybe I'll put it outside of the horse stable like this. Hopefully that should work. Okay, that one worked because we do have our bucket list goal of an immaculate garden. Reach level 10 in gardening skill and bask in your gardening greatness. What level are we now? Oh, we're level eight, so that's really close. Also, do you know what I'm gonna do? Because this is getting a little bit overwhelming with the horse and everything. Wherever the fuck it is in this social pie menu, we're gonna hire the ranch hand service. During the Let's Play series when we did horse ranch, the ranch hand did not work at all. So I'm hoping, oh, she got, she got hit by another meteor. <laughs> Shanice! <laughs> Why did she get hit by another meteor? Shanice, what's going on? Why did that happen? I'm really confused. Shanice, what's going on, mate? No, why did she get hit by another meteor? Rhinoceros rectum has come for a little chat. Oh, I haven't been feeding you. Let me put some food in your, your filler bowl. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not being funny. What just happened? Oh, Shanice is starving. Right, let's better, we better eat some mac and cheese. Okay, so now we're dead. We also need to hold a funeral. When Chantal Chantal next stop work? On Friday. Okay. Well, we're gonna hold Shanice's funeral on Friday, seeming that she literally died. Something that's like a flaw, I will say, with this guest system is you can't invite guests off the departed. Or like, I think the guests are the people who you've got selected as a sim. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it needs to be guests that the dead sim knows, if you know what I mean. Shanice doesn't really have that many friends. We just have to invite random people, I think. Oh my god, we're gonna bring Gothic Shanice as a hired mourner. We're bringing an entertainer, apparently. The dress code is going to be sporty, because she's a chav and it's gonna be pink. Let's see if they follow it properly. We're gonna use all of the event interactions. Hopefully it won't actually glitch out. And we will do this at the cemetery lot, which I think sounds like a good idea. Okay, so we got that to look forward to either this episode or next. Hey, Shanice, you don't need to sleep anymore. This is so useful. We're gonna send you to the ghost world. Seeming that you are a ghost yourself, I kind of want you to hang out with all of the other ghosts in the world. We need to raise our experience by doing all these different things. Things. So we basically got to use all of our chaos abilities. Oh, we can flicker the room lights. Is she? Oh, that's really cool. She's flickering the lights. I didn't know you could do that. So if we just do like all of this stuff, then it should help to raise up our skill level. Look, we can flicker the individual light. That's cute. Oh, look, there's a rabbit little bear. We have a romantic introduction with you. You're really cute, aren't you? Though it's glitching, of course. Okay. We just need to literally spam our chaos abilities so that we can just raise up enough skill points. So we're literally summoning all this fucking trash and puddles on the floor. Oh dearie me. What an absolute nightmare. Well, we're tier two ethereal voice now. So that means we've unlocked a brand new ability that we can choose from tier two. Object manipulation, horn objects, emit a dark aura, fear the night, spectral slumber. We don't really need that anymore. You could choose a good thing. Ghostly traverse. This basic, okay, I'm actually going to do this one. Let me show you how this works. If I want to travel all the way over here, all I have to do is click traverse here and then Shanice will actually like magically teleport. It's very very useful doing this and it obviously raises up the skill as well which is also very useful. Although we do have ghost stamina we do have to wait for it to replenish. I wonder if swimming in the erythreal pool raises it up or does anything. I don't actually know. I mean it seems to be going up a little bit. Maybe yeah maybe we do increase our stamina in this pool. I don't know if that was intentional or not. That's pretty cool. So we need to conjure things. Oh my god we've literally 
literally conjured poo. Fucking horse poo. Should we put that in our inventory? We can take that home with us. Okay, so we got the general gist of ghosts. This is what they do. Something that we haven't tested out yet that I really want to do is a spectral woohoo, which means you can woohoo in basically any in-game object. So who do we have a high romance with in this social bar? Lady Raven Dancer. We can't actually bring you over because you're a ghost, which is very annoying. We were once railing the Grim Reaper, but he's not into us anymore. Maybe we just need to try and win the Grim Reaper back, you know? Because I really want to woohoo with him again. We just spam loads of random romance interactions. We give him a death flower. We'll just see what happens. Oh, he's very sad. Why are you sad, sir? Okay, we're gonna exploit Social Bunny, I feel. That's gonna be the best way to go about it. This will help us get us in a flirty mood together very quickly, because I just want to woohoo with you. That's all I want to do. Okay, I feel like it's high enough. I just want to get down and dirty. I want to get railed. Is that too much to ask? Steamy makeout. Okay, I mean, we're level eight in the bloody romance skill. Okay, we are able to woohoo. Now we need to pick a... Can we, like, woohoo in this bike, for example? Uh, send alone. Go away. Can we woohoo on the bike? We can't woohoo on the bike. What can... Oh, there's some... Ho can we woo... <gasps> We can woohoo in the horse boot! <laughs> what? Transcendent woohoo with Grim Reaper. Oh my god, we're literally woohooing in shit. We are woohooing in literal sh <gasps> Shut up. We're woohooing in poo. No, guys. I'm getting railed by the Grim Reaper in a pile of shit. Shut up. You can woohoo in literal poo. <gasps> I can't believe this is actually happening. Oh my god, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> they're no, guys, they're literally woohooing in a pile of poo. Oh. <gasps> Oh my God, I love it. Guys, I really like The Sims for life and death. I think it's really funny. You can make your Sims woohoo in horse manure. <gasps> oh my God, shut up. Oh my God, I love it. I'm getting railed in a pile of poo. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> What else can we get railed in? Pause a minute. Can we, oh my God, we can woohoo in the mac and cheese bowl. Steamy romance dynamic. I think so. You can't try for a baby though. Uh, excuse me, there is a teen sim watching here. What do you think you're doing? Woohooing in this mac and cheese bowl. No guys, we're woohooing in the literal mac and cheese bowl. Oh my God. What else can we do it in? Can we do it in the cow plant though? What can I, what can I do it in? I want to know. So I have a feeling that maybe they've forgotten about a lot of cross pack objects, being brutally honest. Although, oh, Oh no, we can't woohoo any. Oh, the Grim Reaper disappeared. That's why. My bad. <gasps> I can't believe we just woohooed and shit. <laughs> This is the funniest thing that's happened to me all day. Oh my God. Anyway, guys, you know, I said how the ranch hand, like it's probably still broken. I haven't seen our ranch hand anywhere. So it looks like that horse ranch feature is still very much glitched, unfortunately. So I am actually making Shanice now go to a skill class for gardening because I really want to be able to complete this aspiration. Hire a nanny. Yes, please. We've hired a nanny for our child. Has a nanny turned up? I saw a nanny, but they kind of disappeared. And did you guys see that? They like disappeared and glitched. So we've got a nanny, but fuck knows. Oh, sh where is she? What? Sh she keeps glitching. Oh, here she is. Hello there, madam. You're going to look after my child. Shame about the ranch hand, though. I guess we're just going to have to, like, spam a load of random gardening interactions, like researching the plants and things, just so that we're able to, you know, raise up everything so we can get our skill for it. Although I think once we've done that, we are going to scrap the other bucket list goals because they're shit and just choose a brand new one. Shan't how Chantel is very sad from losing a sibling. I don't know why she's sad. I thought she'd be glad Shanice is gone. Has she got a grief type? Because normally they have like a grief type. Is it in here? No. When I did my review of the pack, it came up with like a type of grief that they experience. Seems Chantal doesn't have one. She's not experiencing grief, apparently. Looks like our poor child's needs are low as well. Our nanny is not doing a good job. Like, honestly, <laughs> Sims for Townies are so crap. You can't rely on them for anything, can you, really? Right, Chantal, get to sleep in your little, I don't even know what this is. Is it called an annex? She has to go up the ladder through the literal fucking toilet. Honestly, I love this lot so much. And she has to sleep in there where she deserves to be locked up in a prison. The nanny has literally brought somebody over. She's brought a, a sibling or husband over. She's very unprofessional. She's not doing anything. Shanice has achieved gardening level nine, which is very good. We're only one step away now. I just realized if you have the pose pet mod, you can get a horse to pose. Can we make a horse do a pose. <gasps> oh my god, no guys, look, we just used a pose pack and we made the horse do a demented pose. And because you can't click, okay, we can stop posing. <gasps> oh my god, that is so cute. I didn't know we could do that. No, as if you can get a horse to do a pose, that's literally the most demented thing. Look at it. <laughs> 
We better stop that. Okay. Shanice, I'm going to make you traverse to your plants. We literally need to make you research and tend your garden, please. We need to get that garden up to level 10. I know you can do it, Shanice, even though it's going up very slowly. Oh, our ranch hand has finally turned up. Better late than never. Also, apparently with gardening, if you get Patchy the straw man and you ask him for gardening tips, okay, apparently this can actually help to speed up you gaining the gardening skills. So we're going to give that one a try. Oh, we don't need a barn. If we pop you here, sir, we'll make you pink. Because if we can befriend him, then we'll be able to ask him for tips, which I just, I feel like it, I'm assuming that's what it does. I'm sure it gives you like a, a huge boost to gaining gardening skill or something. It's very, very useful. We just need to chat with him constantly until we have a high enough friendship. Ask for gardening tips. I believe that's supposed to give us a skill boost, although I'm not quite sure. We'll have to wait and see. Actually, we are going to join Chantal Chantal to work today because that pop-up came up because we're in line for a promotion. We've got so much stuff to do. I actually think this is just like a really great pack. We still need to be charisma level five. So we're going to really quickly do our job and then just go in front of the mirror and raise up our charisma skill. Where are we today? The discotheque Pan Europa. Oh, loads of people have died at the discotheque. Well, let's have an investigation. They died of laughter. Right, well, let's collect all the souls. Okay, our work performance is up. We just need to now have our charisma skill go up and we should be able to actually be promoted. Oh no, our work day ends in an hour. Oh no, okay, we're gonna stay late so that we can get this skill sorted. Oh, Chantal is experiencing grief and she's got anger grief type. I wonder why, maybe it's because she's an evil sim, which is why she's got anger grief type, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're basically charisma level five now. That's really good. So I'm hoping that we get promoted. We have been, she's now a graveling. There is one more to go, which is the Reaper. So we've got one more promotion level to get through. Janice's garden's going very well. We can evolve all of her plants somehow. Although there is a glitch where plants do actually die rather randomly. So hopefully we won't have that. If it does happen, we'll have to get, I think it's a little Miss Sam's mod. What's Chantal's promotion requirement? She's just got to release 10 souls. That's quite easy. Oh, the funeral starts soon. Also, Shanice has maxed out the gardening skill. Pause. Okay, this is amazing. So we can now do the gardening thing, which is bask in gardening greatness. Is that a self interaction? It's not. This isn't high enough quality. What is high enough quality? Oh, this death flower is excellent. This isn't high enough quality for the refined taste Shanice possesses. I thought, let me just double check. Does it need to evolve? I'm not cheating it. I'm just looking to try and understand. Maybe we need to wait until it's blooming. Okay, well, that's underwhelming. <laughs> we'll have to complete it in the next episode because I want to do the funeral in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.